Hello everyone and welcome to a little tutorial video on how to make an FTB uh, server. It's for any of like the latest mod packs. So today I'm going to be doing an inventions server. So what we have to do is we have to download the server. Uh, it will take you to a web page like this and it will just download it as shown here and uh, we will then extract this onto our desk desktop and uh, I will meet you there. Right then, what we're going to do once we're here is we've got the FTB Inventions server and I want to make sure before we do any of this that we go into computer, control panel and then we bring that over here, sorry, and then we go into programs and then we go into programs and features and if we scroll down to where we get to Java we find that here we have two versions of it. We need to get both the 32 and 64 bits of the server, uh, of Java, before we can do this server. So once you've got those two installed, I'll put links to those in the description below. Once we've got both of these, that's when we can start doing the server making. What we do is we create a new folder. It can be called anything you like. I'm just gonna call this tutorial server and we just want to drag and drop that into there and open it up and then extract files here or extract here and then it will just do this it'll take a few seconds all we have to do is get the EULA and set it to true no spaces here or anything and then we just click file and save and close that and then run the server start .bat right here. Now this will download some files and then it will go into a download procedure. Now see here, occasionally it will work for people, other people it may not, because here it says no Java binary in path, can't run server, exiting, press any key to continue. So we just press that and then what we do is we just go into the right click on that and edit with notepad plus plus or just edit with notepad I just find it easier with notepad plus plus because then it highlights things so what we have to do is we just find these four lines of code here and then we just click delete on these and then we just click save and then we close that and run the server again hang on that's not the server and run the server again And if you look, it's taking a while to do, and it's now loading it fine. And it will just do this, and then wait until it uh, does all of this, and loads it all up, and then just to stop the server, you just type in stop. Uh, I'll just wait till this is done. There you go, look, we can see it's coming close to being done now, because it's loading the server. And uh, it will just do all of this. I typed in stop and it will just close the server hopefully it just takes a while to save it all because it's just saving all dimensions and everything and there we go see look it says exiting press any key to continue and then you can just close it like that and now from here you can go into the right click it and then go edit again yep click run and then down here you can change this line so you change these bits and these bits. Make sure you change both of these to the same values. And that's how you add more RAM. Of course, 1024 is one gigabyte and so on. So depending on how much RAM you've got. In my other one, I've got it set to 12 gig, but you don't need that. It's only because I've got loads of spare RAM that I never end up using. But uh, yeah, I hope that's helped. And uh, that's proof that the server is working. And uh, yeah, I hope that helps some of you out. Uh, any questions, uh, feel free to put in the comments and I will hopefully help you out. This works for any other form of server. I've got my invention server, I've got an infinity server up here and then I've got some tech ones up But yeah, so there we go. I hope that helped and uh, thank you all for watching. Goodbye.